I think from uh, Greg's introduction, you might have perhaps picked up our ambition to uh, look at architecture in a slightly different way. Um, I guess we were fortunate enough to start uh, our practice in the midst of a terrible construction recession, which basically meant that uh, nobody could give you a job, which meant that you could do whatever you liked, which is actually a really good thing. So anybody who's, oops, anybody who's worried about the coming recession, don't be. It's actually very good for, for architects. Um, because they, they don't have to hang around with developers anymore. It's very bad for architects. Um, there's a certain, I think, underlying humour, I guess, that comes out, and it's often emphasised, particularly in the UK where everybody thinks we're joking. Uh, but there's also, a, I think, a serious body of work that we like to think that we're producing, which um, in some respects is, is critical of current kind of avant-garde tendencies which we, we think have moved too far down a, a formalist uh, direction. And this is a project we're working on at the moment where some of those ideas that are present in those earlier projects are being played out at a slightly bigger scale. Um, it's a housing block, um, 80, 80 unit housing block in a town called Middlesbrough. Middlehaven is a part of Middlesbrough, which is a little bit like, I guess, the sort of Cleveland, Ohio of England, but without the glamour. Um, actually, it does have a bit of glamour. This is the old dock side. It's an old shipbuilding place. And um, this arrangement here has been designed by uh, an architect called Will Alsop, you probably know. Um, he did the master plan. There were five different architects involved, um, and it comprises these buildings here, which he, he's called Prada Skirts. These two buildings, which are called piers for obvious reasons. There's a, there's a college building over here. And then running along this, uh, this sort of length is a series of buildings called Sugar Cubes, which are basically 30 metres by 30 metres. I think that's 90 feet by 90 feet by 90 feet um, blocks. And um, we are doing uh, this one here, which is called SIAC, which rather cornerly stands for Community in a Cube. Um, I promise you we didn't give it that title. This is what happens when you see when you work with developers. They think that they think that's really cool, that sort of thing. Um, but the building is actually situated on this site here, this kind of twisted one, and so it's fronted, there's a little square here and it has a, an important relationship to the to the water. What is also important about this project is that it's the it's it's Britain's largest zero carbon development. And so the environmental sustainability aspect of this is a very important part of it. Uh, here you can see the plan more or less as it is currently. That's, that's the building we're doing at the moment as part of phase one. Uh, Alsop is doing this building and there are various architects eventually going to infill these. Um, this is a kind of early sketch. We had this idea we're trying to develop this thing, like I think we, we could call it maximalism as opposed to minimalism, which is like, how do you get everything in the world into, into something, kind of rather than taking it all out and put it all in. And we had this idea that we could m make this building have everything in the world. So it had a sort of desert on the top with a cactus and melting snow and thatch and haystacks and curtain walling. <laughs> trees out on a limb and it, it was slightly toned down from that eventually say, um, and um, this is an early sort of version of it but there was this again incongruous elements that that relate to each other we determined that it would be actually quite for, for reasons of economy a fairly sort of normative block in many ways quite typical of the sort of apartment blocks you see going up all over the place but it it would sit rather ludicrously on something like this, this chalet. So this is one kind of key idea that 
this thing kind of just rests on top of, of, of this. And this is how it kind of manifests itself. Uh, in reality, this is, there's this block and it has this funny little post here. This is all made out of brick. So it has a kind of wooden post made out of brick. And it, it, it sort of sits on the apex of this thing, which is going to be the local pub, because it's a community in a cube, so it needs to have a pub. Uh, and th this will probably extend over here. This is the, uh, the lift tower. Uh, another key idea of this um, is the sky homes. And these are bunch of basically kind of a new urbanist houses placed on top of an apartment block uh, which is kind of quite a good place to do new urbanism actually <coughs> more interesting than doing it on the ground and you can see though there they are they, they sit on top of these things Middlesbrough's most prestigious address this is being marketed as and again you can see it's a very sort of simple and straightforward block um, apart from the normal sort of sustainability aspects you need know, to do with the heating system, thoughts about the orientation, the materials, there's an awful lot of reclaimed materials and carbon neutral materials, which means that it's actually a hugely complicated building, the amount of research that's had to go into it. Um, but I, I don't like to go on about that stuff too much. I always find, find people sound, sound incredibly sanctimonious when they going on about saving the planet the whole time. Yes, we should do it, but you know, do, does the architecture always have to be about you know, overtly expressing that? But one of the things that's, um, there's, a, there's a, a set of principles called One Planet Living Principles that the, the developer who we're working with on this, who are called Bioregional, have uh, set out these principles and they extend beyond just environmental sustainability to include things like health and happiness and fur trade and such like. So basically if you live here every uh, every week you will have uh, somebody like, like, the, like the, we have the milkman in England who delivers milk in the morning. Here you will be delivered with your box weekly of organic vegetables. Um, but one of the key things was this south-facing court. This is a sort of diagrammatic section through, through the building, which has a, a south-facing court, which you'll see in a minute. has this sort of vertical garden, which is really one of the circulation routes through it. And it's the idea of trying to encourage both outdoor living. And, and when you enter the building, that you could just go into through the entrance hall here and go up in the lift. But this is trying to encourage you to actually get some exercise and walk up and, and arrive at a point higher up the building before you take the lift. And th so this is the section through it. That's the sort of big hole at the front that you saw. This is the lift tower. And uh, this is this stepped terrace. The, the highest level of it is actually the roof of a light well which illuminates the entrance hall below. But the idea is you can, you can go in here, get in the lift, go up this way, or you could move up some stairs here, end up here, then here, and here. And of course this can also be used uh, for general amenity, and you can see that again these rather sweet little sky homes. And so that's a view into this south facing court, that's the back end of it. Um, and this is the Alsop building uh, next door. There's not much to say about that, except that's that's kind of what it what it what it looks like, and it, and here's a view, a sort of elevational view of the into the court, and um, this this screen element here, which is part of this sort of vertical garden idea, is actually where you land when you come out of the lift. Hopefully, be rather more plants than is shown there, but it is very windy. Um, but you can see the sky homes and you, you actually enter into uh, the main wings of the building here and here. This is an idea of what it, what it might be like um, characteristically. Uh, and th there's those same people, miraculously, there they are, uh, a couple of floors down, enjoying perhaps going to visit their neighbours because it's a community in the cube, you see, and everyone's going to live happily together here. There's a man coming back from work. And um, th these are the plans, this is the ground floor plan. So this is this pub object um, 
and this is bit's going to be a restaurant, this is a commercial space. Importantly, there's a great big boiler room, because there's going to be a huge biomass boiler in here, which will serve five of these cube buildings. Uh, I never talk about this stuff usually, but you know, here is the refuse store, the trash store, which is so big because it's got so many recycling bins in it. And uh, this here is an enormous bicycle store because everybody's going to ride bicycles to and from this building and therefore save the planet. Aren't they lucky? Um, this, is a, this, is, this is the sort of uh, lower level of this court which uh, directly opens, uh, the flats directly open onto it. Uh, this is this staircase that kind of winds up. This is the light well that you can go up this staircase to be on top of it to create those three terraces. And this is a typical floor plan and one of the things we're suffering from in the UK at the moment is, is really poor space standards. The cost of uh, real estate is so high that developers cannot afford to, to build very big apartment buildings or very big apartments within buildings. And one of the ways we're trying to deal with that is to think very carefully about how you actually design the flats. And these are basically designed so that as many as possible in, and that there are in each wing on the floor there are five flats and four of them are corner positions so you maximize the amount of natural light and the view uh, to compensate to a degree for what are not very good space standards so yet yeah, you come up in your in your lift here and you, you come out onto this deck and you either go in here or here uh, and these are the sky homes at, at the top and uh, some views of, uh, of of a model. I like these because they look like they were made in the 1960s. There we go, view into the court. And the view from the uh, police helicopter um, hovering uh, as some criminal tries to escape through this rather wonderful vertical garden uh, and this building starts on site uh, early next year